Shalom. Hello. How are you? I just wanted to um, share a little on forgiveness today, but I wanted to leave this thought before I begin, and that is think good and it will be good. And that's written um, by one of the Chabad rabbis that he said, think good and it will be good. And um, the Samach Siddiq, I believe. Anyway, today I wanted to start to discuss uh, what do I need to do to be forgiven from God? And that ties in with the three weeks and Yom Kippur and all that's coming up. And basically, uh, it's all a work and act of the heart. Our heart and our intentions account a lot more than people understand or know. And what we do with our heart reaches heaven, Hashemayim. So when you pray, it's very important that you involve your heart in your hit bonadut, your prayers, talking to Hashem, and your davening, and all forms of prayer. But many years ago, I came before Hashem. I didn't even know too much about Torah at all, but I came with my heart. My, I was finally to a broken point where I was at the end of self. And I didn't want any more of my own, what I want, what I like, and this and that. No, no, no. Now, what do you want, Hashem? What do you want from my life? I want to do only your will and nothing apart from it. And so when I was able to do that, uh, my whole life changed. First, I had to come to the end of self, Messiris Nefesh, and realize that God is everything and this is his world, not mine, and that he put me here for a purpose, not be selfish and what I want and what I like. And, and basically, that makes a person miserable. So you should know that if you have any misery, that's where it comes from, from self. <laughs> But, of course, you have to take care of yourself and eat and sleep and do the things that your body needs because it's the vehicle or the car in which your soul rides through in this world in order to do all that you're going to do. Remembering that when you leave this world, there is no more doing. So whatever you didn't do already doesn't get done. And when you get to heaven, you may want to have done a lot so that you have a very nice mansion there. Um, and we're not talking about money here. We're talking about merit, Torah study, living a righteous life. It all starts, I didn't know anything about Torah except a few brachas, and I knew the Shema, and that was it. And with that, I came to the end of self because of all the things that were going on in my life that stopped making life worth living. And I really didn't care if I lived or died at that point. And it took that to take the self out to be able to serve God. All the way through the Torah, it says, serve Hashem, serve Hashem. I know I spoke about that in another video, but it's... It's a very important part of life. And it's not going to happen right away. The first thing, the only thing you can do, if you're in the state I was, is to say, Hashem, I, I give up everything. I come to the end of self. And please show me the way I'm ready to walk in it. And begin to learn the Torah and the mitzvahs and the Shabbos and all these things little by little. Hashem does not expect more from you than you can do. He doesn't overwhelm you. He takes you through that path little by little. He takes you by the hand and he walks you through it. But right away, if you made shuva with your heart, you will feel it. Even though you may not understand what you did, but you will know what you did. And from that point on, we begin to embrace all the writings of the prophets, the Nevi'im. I highly recommend the Tanakh, the Jewish Bible, as a beginning book after you've made Shuva. It's the most important book to get into your soul because a lot of the other books say Rabbi so-and-so and they say all kinds of uh, important things, yeah, 
But the Tanakh says Hashem said, straight from Hashem. And when the prophet spoke, that was Hashem, God speaking through those men that were assigned the resting of the divine presence upon them. So it's the best time of the year to make teshuva, to come to the end of yourself, to change your life in a positive direction. And if you're bogged down with all those sins and everything that are tying you up, a teshuva will free you. And I'm sorry, God, for everything I did wrong. I'm sorry. And I, I'm telling you from my heart that I'm sorry. And please change me, change my life in a beneficial and positive direction. And if you talk to God from your heart like that, you're going to see such a different quality of life. You got to take away the, the ratzon, the will to do for self and start the will to do for God. So I just wanted to also talk about the fact that we need to be sincere. This is such a plastic world we live in these days and people are not uh, real. Everybody's like, um, who knows what, what's a good word to explain that. But we that represent God, Hashem in this world, need to be people of sincerity, integrity. We need to be people that, that we are honoring Hashem in all our deeds and actions so that when people see us, they see Hashem in us. Very important thing as well. And the final thing before we go <laughs> is to think about the fact that um, apologizing to others seems like something so small and what could it do but I'll tell you something apologizing to people will make peace with them again if you don't if you have a an aggressive um, interaction with another person and you don't apologize at the end of it the next time you see them it's an instant fight or argument especially in a marriage oh my goodness so a little apology which doesn't take a very big deal and even if you don't feel it in your heart say it with your mouth because words have value and it could make all the difference in the world in restoring the peace between you and that person a very important thing to remember go around telling people that you had a rough conversation with i'm sorry sorry for my part anyway i want to wish you Hatzlacha, success, bracha, blessing, and besimcha, happiness. If do it, Hashem besimcha, always be serving Hashem with gladness and with joy. Because just rejoicing and celebrating our God is everything. Find out how to live a better quality of life. Shalom, shalom.